Hi everyone, we're going to establish identities using product assignment sum to product formulas that we did in the prior two videos. Before you start this, you probably want to have your formulas written out because I won't write them out because they're very long and everything. The part one is uh, the easy ones, then part two will be the medium type, and then I have part three that are the harder ones. So basically, this is the first one we have. And what we're going to do is work on the left side here and write, use my formula and write this as 2 sine of theta plus 3 theta over 2. So we're going from as sum to product here on most of these uh, times cosine of theta minus 3 theta over 2 and you clean this up you can get 2 sine of 4 theta over 2 which is just 2 theta and then times um, oh and I didn't add this so just remember this goes under there times cosine of negative 2 theta over 2 which is negative um, theta alright and then we're dividing by 2 sine of 2 theta. I forgot to put it on this part, this part here, but anyway, what happens is these two cancel. They knock each other out, and also uh, cosine is a even uh, function, so we use the even identity properties and change that to a positive, so we get cosine of theta, and they match up, and so we establish that identity. Okay. The next one is um, cosine of theta plus cosine of 3 theta over 2 cosine of 2 theta, and we want this to equal cosine, again, of theta. So I'm going to work on um, the left side here, and this equals, so I'm going to move down here, this equals 2 times cosine of theta plus 3 theta over 2 times cosine of theta minus 3 theta over 2 and all over our common denominator. I'll put it down this time, which gives us 2 times cosine of 4 theta over 2 is 2 theta times uh, cosine of negative theta. Um, I'm doing this mentally. This right here is negative 2 theta over uh, 2. So that cancels and I get negative. So I'm just kind of doing it uh, mentally here. So and this would be 2 over 2 cosine of 2 theta. These two cancel. Um, again, like the previous problem, I can change that to a positive because it's an even function. So we get cosine of theta, and they match. Of course, on a test, you're supposed to write it this way. And you're done. The okay, next one we have is um, sine of 4 theta plus sine of 2 theta over cosine of 4 theta plus cosine of 2 theta equals tan of 3 theta. So it's a little harder here. So what I'm going to do is uh, work on the numerator up here on the left side. And this equals 2 sine of 4 theta plus 2 theta over 2 times cosine of 4 theta minus 2 theta over 2 all over my common denominator which or over my denominator which is 4 theta plus cosine of 2 theta. Now let's clean up the numerator a little bit and we're going to get 2 sine of 3 theta, because this is just 6 theta over 2, which is 3 theta, plus or times cosine of theta. 
all right? And then we're going to divide by, um, when I'm going to break up um, this, this here as 2 cosine of 3 theta times cosine of theta. So when I cancel this out, I'm going to get 2 tan of 3 theta. Oh, the, the two's cancel, so the two goes away. Okay, the next one we're going to do is um, cosine of theta minus cosine of 3 theta over sine of 3 theta minus sine of theta. So I'm going to break uh, both the numerator and the denominator down. This gives me negative 2 sine of theta plus 3 theta over 2 times sine of theta minus 3 theta over 2. Okay, and the denominator is going to be 2 sine of 3 theta minus theta over 2 times cosine of 3 theta plus theta over 2. Just using your formulas. Now I'm going to clean up both the numerator and the denominator. I'm going to move it over so I don't have to squeeze everything in. So I'm going to get negative 2 sine of 2 theta times sine of negative theta over 2 sine of theta times cosine of 2 theta. Again, I'm just mentally um, um, dividing that, adding and dividing. All right, um, since this is an odd function, I'm going to take this negative out and bring it up here. So it's going to be 2 sine of 2 theta times sine of theta over 2 sine of theta um, times cosine of 2 theta. And when you take care of this, you're going to get um, the 2's cancel, the sine's cancel, and you get sine of 2 theta over cosine of 2 theta, which gives you tan of 2 theta. And I should have wrote that down. This is supposed to equal this right here. The identity was uh, this should equal tan of 2 theta. Okay, we're going to do two more for this section. The next one um, we're going to do is very similar to this one. It is um, cosine of theta minus cosine of 3 theta over sine of theta plus sine of 3 theta. And we want this to equal tan of theta. So I'm going to work on the left side here and just use my formulas. I get negative 2 times sine of theta plus 3 theta over 2 times sine of theta minus 3 theta over 2 divided by 2 sine of theta plus 3 theta over 2 times cosine of theta minus 3 theta over 2. Now I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to try to squeeze it in here. I'm going to get negative 2 sine of 2 theta times sine of negative theta over 2 sine of 2 theta times cosine of negative theta. Now right away, I have this uh, cosine of negative theta. I can change that to positive. And this negative here, I can bring out in the front. So that's going to change this to a positive and this to a positive. And what happens is these two cancel, and we get this equals tan of theta. 
a sine over cosine is a tangent. So there you go. And we're going to do one more. And this is um, very similar. Cosine of theta minus cosine of 5 theta over sine of theta plus sine of 5 theta. And we want this to equal tan of 2 theta. So you're just using your formulas and write everything out. You get uh, this left side equals negative 2 sine of theta plus 5 theta over 2 times sine of theta minus 5 theta over 2. Okay, all over 2 sine of theta plus 5 theta over 2. These look the same. Times uh, cosine of theta minus 5 theta over 2. When you simplify this, you're going to get negative 2 sine of 3 theta times sine of negative 2 theta over uh, 2 sine of 3 theta times cosine of negative 2 theta. Again, like we did in the previous problem, I'm going to pull this negative out right here. Two negatives make a positive, so I'm going to change those to positive. Um, the cosine's even, so um, that we just changed the positive. Sine was odd. Now, what can I cancel out? Okay, I can cancel these two out here. And uh, when you simplify that, you get tan of 2 theta. Okay, the next set we're going to do is going to go from product to sum. and It's going to be a combination. They're going to be a little harder. So that would be considered part uh, two of establishing uh, sum to product and product to sum identities. Um, and have a nice day.